41 a voltmeter reads 4 volt when connected to a parallel plate capacitor with air as dielectric when a dielectric slab is introduced between the plates for the same configuration voltmeter reads 2 so this is 4 volt and this is 2 volt what is the dielectric constant of the material so parallel plate capacitance capacitance equal to epsilon naught epsilon r a by d so capacitance is proportional to epsilon r but q equal to cv if charge is constant then c and v are inversely proportional okay or v is inversely proportional to c V is inversely proportional to C but C is proportional to epsilon R therefore we can write V is proportional to 1 by epsilon R or dielectric constant 4 volt air as dielectric medium 4 volt 1 by 1 2 volt 2 volt dielectric constant epsilon r divide one by the other epsilon r goes to numerator epsilon r equal to 2 so this is like equation 1 equation 2 divide one by the other you will get epsilon r equal to 2 a spherical conductor of radius 2 centimeter is uniformly charged with 3 nano coulomb what is the electric field at a distance 3 cm there is a charge conductor radius is 2 cm whereas the point is at a distance 3 cm so Gauss theorem says distances should be considered from the center as though charge is at the center ok therefore constant Q by R square constant is 9 10 power 9 charge given is 3 nano minus 9 divided by distance should be considered from the center distance from the center distance from the center is 3 centi minus 2 square this is 9 9 10 power minus 9 plus 9 get cancels 10 3 10 power 4 so it is 3 3 10 power 4 A carbon film resistor has color code green, black, violet, gold. The value of the resistor is since it is gold, it should be plus or minus 5. Two resistors of resistance 2 and 6 are connected in parallel. This combination is then connected to a battery of 2 volt. There are two resistors with 2 and 6 in turn connected to a battery of 2 volt 0.5 ohm therefore current through the battery means total current for total current we need this effective resistance 2 into 6 by 2 plus 6 this is 8 this is 12 it is 1.5 ohm so effective resistance is 1.5 connected to a battery of 2 volt 0.5 ohm this is internal resistance therefore total current is E divided by R plus R E is 2 volt R plus R is 2 1 ampere 1 ampere the equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in series is R1 plus R2 equal to 6 equivalent connected in parallel is R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 equal to 4 by 3 substitute R1 R2 here we get R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is 6 equal to 4 by 3 therefore R1 R2 equal to 1 2 8 R1 R2 is 8 R1 plus R2 is 6 now look at the options product of 2 should be 8 for this is not 8 this is 8 this is 8 this is not 8 so we have to choose between these two okay but sum of two resistors is 6 
sum of these two is 6 sum of these two is not 6 therefore this is the answer in a potentiometer experiment of a cell of emf 1.25 volt gives balancing length so emf is proportional to balancing length 30 centimeter balancing length 1.25 30 centimeter 1.25 volt 40 centimeter question mark 0 0 4 into 1.25 is 5 so question mark is 5 by 3 1.67 volt 1.67 a charged particle experiences magnetic force in the presence of magnetic field which of the following statement is correct so magnetic force is given by q into v cross b which is q v b sin theta first option <coughs> we want correct option the particle is moving and magnetic field is perpendicular to velocity velocity magnetic field perpendicular this could be the answer the particle is moving and magnetic field is parallel to the velocity magnetic field is parallel means theta is 0 degree theta 0 degree means force is 0 so there is no magnetic force particle is stationary means v equal to 0 implies force equal to <coughs> 0 particle is stationary and magnetic field is parallel parallel means theta 0 also v equal to 0 implies force equal to 0 so this is the option if a velocity has both perpendicular and parallel components while moving through a magnetic field what is the path followed by a charged particle this is uniform magnetic field this velocity gives circle here velocity is perpendicular to the <coughs> magnetic field parallel component velocity this parallel component is not affected by magnetic field therefore this gives straight line there should be circle with linear motion means circle with linear motion it is helix a solenoid of length 0.4 cm radius so radius is comparable to length means we can't use mu naught ni to find the magnetic field therefore grace gyro magnetic ratio of an electron revolving in circular orbit of hydrogen atom is so and so what is the mass of the electron given charge gyro magnetic ratio is half of e by m also equal to magnetic dipole moment per unit angular momentum so let us use half e by m gyro magnetic ratio mass mass equal to half of e by g so mass half charge is 1.6 10 power minus 19 gyro magnetic ratio is 8.8 .8, 10 power 10 this one this 0.8 this one this 11 so it is 1 by 11 into 10 power minus 29 What is the value of shunt resistance required to convert galvanometer of resistance 100 ohm range 1 ampere resistance of the galvanometer. If this is a galvanometer and a shunt connected, yes, total current is I, current through the galvanometer is Ig, remaining current is I minus Ig. Since these two are in parallel, potential difference across them should be same potential difference across them is same means ig into g equal to i minus ig i minus ig just a minute i minus ig I minus Ig into S. Yes. Therefore, shunt resistance equal to shunt equal to Ig G. Ig is 5 milli. 5 milli 10 power minus 3. G is 10 power 2. I is 
range 1 ampere minus 0 0.005 so this is 0.5 divided by 1 minus means 0.995 or 5 by 9.95 so this is the answer A circular coil of radius 10 cm, 100 turns, carries current 1 ampere. What is the magnetic moment? Magnetic dipole moment is number of turns, current and area. And this area is pi r square. Okay. Number of turns is 100. Current is 1 ampere. 1 ampere. Pi 3.14 into radius is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 square is 10 power minus 2. This gate cancels. So it is... 3.142 ampere meter square I hope you can see this with low light a susceptibility of a certain magnetic material is 400 what is the class of the magnetic material susceptibility is very high therefore it should be ferromagnetic A solenoid of inductance to Henry carries a current of 1 ampere. What is the magnetic energy stored in the solenoid? Half Li square is the magnetic energy. Therefore, half L is 2, current is 1, 1 square. So it is 1 joule. A multimeter reads a voltage of a certain AC source 100. What is the peak value of AC? So peak is nothing but 100 root 2. 100 root 2 which is 141 because V RMS equal to V naught by root 2 in AC whatever voltage or current is mentioned it is always RMS therefore this is 100 into root 2 equal to V naught root 2 is 1.41 therefore 141 a series LCR circuit contains inductance capacitance resistance frequency is varied. What is the frequency at which maximum power is dissipated means they are talking about resonance. See power equal to IRMS VRMS into cos phi. This is maximum only when cos phi is maximum. Cos phi is maximum means phi equal to 0 degree. Okay. Cos 0 is 1. Therefore cos 0 is 1 means voltage and current should be in phase therefore electrical resonance f equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc 1 by 2 into 3.14 root lc l is 5 milli 10 power minus 3 c is 2 10 power minus 6 this is 10 10 power minus 6 minus 9 minus 8 so denominator is 1 by 2 pi this is 10 power minus 8 minus 4 goes to numerator 10 power 4 by 2 pi 10 by 2 is 5 10 power 3 this is pi 5 by pi 10 power 3 a step down transformer has 50 turns so here 50 turns at the secondary so this is secondary of the transformer primary of the transformer and 1000 turns it is connected to 220 volt and 1 ampere. Turn ratio is number of turns at the secondary by number of turns at the primary, which is equal to 50 by 2000. It is 1 by 20. Therefore, current will be amplified by 20 times. So, at 20 ampere. Here, efficiency is not given. Therefore, efficiency is assumed to be 100%. The average power dissipated in AC circuit is 2 Watt. If a current flowing through the circuit 2 Ampere 1. So power equal to IRMS VRMS into cos phi or I square R into cos phi. Power is given 2 Watt. Current is 2 Ampere. Resistance is 2 Ampere square. Resistance is 1 Ohm into cos phi. Power factor means cos phi. Therefore, it is 0.5. Cos phi is 0.5. A plane electromagnetic wave of frequency is traveling through 
the electric field vector is given what is the magnetic field vector c equal to electric field by magnetic field magnetic field base electric field by c this is 6 3 10 raised to 8 therefore 2 10 raised to minus 8 is the magnetic field 2 10 raised to minus 8 two capacitors 10 20 are connected to 200 volt and 100 volt sources respectively if they are connected by a wire what is the common potential of the capacitor 